Hey everyone, welcome to DBR, where today I'm going to show you how to win a million dollars in, uh, in this poker game. And basically the way to win a million dollars is you can do it by pure luck and go into the no limit little you know games they have all over the place at different levels. Or you can go play a tournament, and the tournament is the best way because people actually play like they got something to lose in a tournament. They play like they're playing somewhat with real money. That's because there's a lot on the line. There's $100,000 on the line for a possible win of $50,000, $100,000, and $1.1 million if you win top spots in both tournaments. And, uh, all right, so there's a couple rules of thumb to really get past this first wave here and lock in your, your buy-in. And that is uh, don't get caught up in the all-ins right off the bat. There are a couple losers that do that. Um, and then, you know, start to learn your opponent. So, King-10, not bad. I'm going to just kind of splash the pot a little there. So, a great way to kind of figure out your players right off the bat is just look how much money they have and experience. So, it looks like our tough player is just the upper right there. Got my 10. I like that. So, I'm going to just, you know, do a prerequisite doubling of the pot. See if we can knock out a couple weak hands here. Great. And then Adam, hopefully, he doesn't get what he's looking for. Uh, he did not. Unless he had a flush draw. Ooh, in which case... Ooh, he does. Mm, he's probably going to check at this point. Yeah, oof, I probably should have folded before, but let's check it out. No! He's trying to bluff me out. Great. A little fast and loose with the money there, but that's fine. Uh, two pair is kind of hard to beat. And the odds of him having a two hearts are, are decent. Wait, wait, wait. He's just going all in. Let's see. Ah, yeah, I'm chip leader. I'll do it. I can afford to lose 800. These guys really can't, so they're only going nice. Come on, give me it. Ah, so stupid. All he had to do was give me a straight. Come on, Monica. Every time, Monica. All right, let's... A7, get a couple people out of here who don't belong in this race. Yeah, so not to worry about L-Dub there. He's pretty, gonna be pretty obvious. Looks like he's going to be bedding with... Okay, free hand. I'll take it. Looks like they're going to be bidding only with good hands, so they're going to be easy to read. As long as I don't push... <laughs> My tendency is I push a little too hard. I give them a little bit too, too much free money from bluffs. Like right now, I would like to start bluffing. Um, or at the very least, I would like to start raising... You know, I, don't, I don't like giving them free buys, but the odds of me winning this hand are pretty low right now, so I probably shouldn't throw any money at that. At all, yeah, because even if I got the straight, someone probably has a higher straight. What a weak bet. Good lord. Come on, guys. 160 with a straight? What's wrong with you, Adam? I'm not going to stay in the game with those kind of bets. 80 bucks for a 3-4. So here's another rule of thumb. Early on in the game, you definitely want to be seeing as many hands as possible. It's so cheap on the blinds to see the hands. So definitely do that. Very low chance of me winning here, so I'm going to fold. So see as many hands as you can. Absolutely. I know you're all thinking flush draw, yes, uh, but all someone needs is one heart higher. Oh, I two paired it. Wow. That might have been worth staying in. Let's see what happens. I'm assuming someone has a queen or something. Yeah. <laughs> how did I know? Psychic. He was playing like he had a queen. That's how I know. It's a little bit weak of a bet, though. Weak, weak bets. Pretty confident about this, guys. These guys are pretty transparent. If that's not a guy, though, is it? It's a pregnant woman. That's a little scary. Call that a raise, Raven? Here we go. What are you looking for? Flesh draw? You're going to have to pay to see, buddy. Two pair. So I doubt he's slow playing. Raven hasn't really been playing like that. He's probably... Yeah, he had the 10. And... Sucks to be him. So when you're having a good luck streak like this, you really don't want to back off. I see that a lot of times. People back off. They'll get an ace-2, feel good about it. You want to push. Okay, so at the very least, raise. Knock out. So those two guys might have had good hands. 
Now they'll never know. Got my ace. Uh, so doing pretty good here. Another weak, another weak raise. So we just push hard, knock Adam out. He's all in, and of course I win. So now we're starting to take heads. That's exactly how you want to play. This isn't a game for niceties. It's a game for, you know, unrelenting strikes. Queen eight, a lot of hands in here that aren't going to fold. This actually is maybe one of the hands I probably won't splash too hard with a straight draw and a flush threat. So that's not great. I am debating with that check round, doing a little bluff here. I think we get some weak hands to shake out. Good lord, L Dub. <laughs> the guy will call anything. Um, probably won't splash at this point. I'd probably have to bet three thousand to get them to, or two thousand at least to get them knocked down. I don't. Yeah, he had a two pair. Would have been stupid. Interesting. He was slow playing it. Six eight. Terrible hand, but I will call it. Not with that mount, though. Good work, Adam. All right, so someone's going to take him out, which would be nice. Kind of limit the threats here. Pocket eights. Wow, pockets around the board. Good work. Man. And L-Dub's gone. Could have called that one. Guy was just not playing well at all. Um, yeah, so all right. So on this one, 50,000 is the second place win, which means you get half your buy-in back. That's lame. And... Uh, 100,000, you get your buyback in once you get your automatic buy into the second round. So if you get first place here, you didn't lose any money. And then you have to get at least second place to win half a million in the next round. I got, ooh, straight draw. I will call for that. And that did not go my way. And I probably will not bluff this. Interesting. I will bluff this. <laughs> <laughs> they just, sorry. So Ashley's going to call it, obviously, but... What? And that, my friends, is why you bluff. <laughs> why did they fold? She only had $400 left. That is hilarious. That is funny. Got my 10. He's playing like a weak-willed nilly. The money's mine. Get out of here, Adam. Why are these guys even playing poker? It's hilarious. It's hilarious. Really funny. Although now he knows I bluffed. That's the first time I revealed that. Uh, so let's let them duke it out. I'd actually like Ashley to get out of this game. I don't really need the 560, so I'm not going to go on that weak hand. And I would have gotten a f loss of a flush. It's great. 2-5. Terrible hand. This point's not extremely spendy for me. I could, I could be seeing these for the... Yeah, but there's a threat of Ashley calling all in right now, so... Probably won't. Go too crazy. I will call her on this, though. <sighs> okay. They saw right through my hand. Six ace. I'll probably call on this as well. Ace two four. I just need a three. So we will raise to let them know I think I have something. Let's be a little transparent there. And let's see, Ashley. Let's see if we can get you to come right into play. So she'll probably call all in with that. I, I meant to actually go to, come on. Seriously, let's not let you dawdle, pregnant lady. Thank you very much. Okay, so here we go. Now we're head to head. We've secured um, We've secured a pretty good lead. I don't know why he's betting. He must have either a pair or two pair. Ooh, should I, guys? What does he got? What does he got? Yeah, I'm going to let that one go. I don't know what that was. He's been betting pretty unsecurely, so... The fact that he feels like he had something is interesting. Uh, let's see if he starts bluffing like crazy. Nope, he had something. I don't like being the second or the first better right now. All right. So, playing it safe to the core, and now he's at 8, which is a threat. So, I am going to call 6 AC. I just don't like doing it on nice. Okay, now I will do this. Perfect. Okay. So, when you have an opportunity, you do want to give him a scare. See if he 
actually, probably nobody has anything on that one. Good, okay. So I'm just bluffing them out. That means I can bluff them. That's great. I do appreciate that. 610, good to go. 8, 9, 10, jack. I will push that. Should have gone over two, actually. Don't be stupid. Got a two pair. He's being skittish. Probably going to fold on that one. Oh, we have the same hand. Wow. He was being ballsy on a 6-3. We got lucky on that one, man. Let's see if we can push him out. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Do it again. Thank you, Monica, for the King-10. Just deal me. Good, let's see if we can take him out. Excellent, and there we go. First stage done, moving on to the final round. That was actually a lot easier than it should have been. Those guys were not really good at playing. Usually there's at least one person at this point since everyone here has won they should all be decent players wow no no one here has any money besides alexis and we got our jack so i will go that was less than i wanted i should have gone a thousand i don't like their their raise system here it's kind of lame Um, so there's a danger of a flush draw, which is a good reason why someone would have stayed in. So I'm going to do a, a raise, but gentle raise. Uh, we'll do another 1,200. Someone calls me all in. I probably will not. Oh, wow. Alexis, slow playing me. Surprised you didn't raise. She was afraid of the flush. All right, now we got to be careful. That was a pretty hard push. I don't want to do that too early in the game. I just warned us about that in the first round, and here I am messing around like an idiot. So here's the thing that happens to people. They got their buy-in back. They're like, let me play safe. Do not play too safe. You want to play similar to how you were playing before. You don't want to get too crazy with your safety, you know. Uh, definitely want to see as many hands as possible still. Keep in mind you're starting off at 25 Gs to play with. Okay, so Alexis got shoved out with some bets. An 8-2, now that's one of the few hands I debate seeing. Uh, he raised it, so I will step out. Just the odds of me winning pretty low, and they're getting to a raise battle here, so pretty good call on that one. And yeah, there's no love for the 8-2. <laughs> Monica, this means she's saving the good hands for later. Okay, head to head. Alexis, wow, that's a big bet, Tony. You must think you got something. She's got something. Oh, someone's getting out today. Straight versus a pair of, oh, three of a kind. That's a tough one, Tony. Pretty sure pocket fours, I wouldn't have been that aggressive. Eight, nine, ten. Need a jack, so they don't get a free round here. I'm not going to let that happen. Thomas looks like he's about to foam. He'll probably call that was too weak of a bet. I could have pushed him out if I went a little harder. That was my mistake. I should have pushed a little harder than that. Cost me a couple grand. And I am starting to lose my footing in this round. So that's a pretty decent flush draw with a terrible ace. Killing my jack. So I'm just going to check that one. Two pair, jacks and fives. Time to raise. So we're going to go 2,800. Probably knock people out that I don't want to leave. All of them. That wasn't good. Should have capitalized on that. 9-5. Bad hand, but I will call for 640. Please don't raise Alexis. That'd be nice. That'd be... Ooh, is she timing out? Every once in a while people time out and they end up leaving the game. Oh, I got my nine. 
feeling lucky. <laughs> oh, with an ace jack? No, thank you. No, thank you. Hmm. Got some decent players here, guys. They're slow playing it for sure. 3 4. Uh, I probably should call that. I just, I'm not liking the little cards right now. For obvious reasons, guys. It's just not. Everyone's going in with aces and kings, so. It's not really where I want to put my money right now. Since the chip leader is pretty dominant right now. She's in my hand. 10 9. I will call the raise on that. I just raised the blinds. Got our two pair, which is lovely. Probably raised about 1500 on this. Chris might be raising. Great. I see you 1920, and I raise you another 1920. Wow, we already got an all in. And I got a full house. Suck it, Chris. <laughs> all right, nice. We knocked somebody out. Uh, now we get to start pushing. Feeling pretty good. Oh, is she going to call that? Oh, we got a battle royale, guys. Oh, but I got my hand. So let's go 3,500 here. If anyone's got the three, I'm screwed. That was not a three bet. That was more of a... I'm not sure what he has. What is he, he's gonna go all in? What the heck were you betting on? <laughs> I should have put them all in. 2-9, all right, I'll let them duke it out. So whoever gets second place here, he's probably trying to stay in and hang on for dear life. Really, he's gonna call that? He's gonna be, oh, I got my ace. You know what that means? It means I'm taking him out. And with that, we've taken the chip lead as well. So now it's about playing. Can we play Alexis? Let's find out. Let's do a little half bluff here. That was not as planned. She's acting scared. I'm going to throw in 3,500. Just kind of testing the waters. Oh, she's good. She's good. Um, I'm a little too far away to actually take that, though, so I'm going to let her take that day. I know you guys are thinking, what the hell are you doing? I'm even in the game up, guys. 7-9. All right, now we're playing a little safe. 7s and 9. Pair of 7s. She might have a king. See if we can pull her into this one. Give her a 6,000 run for her money. Excellent. She saw it, though. She's a good player, guys. This is why she has so much money. This is why she's got 6.8 million. She's going to be a tough nut to crack. So let's see. 6, 7, 9. Oh, it's a terrible hand to call. This is it, guys. This is when the adrenaline starts rushing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Give me the king, Monica. Give me the king. Uh, pair twos. She's not going to get bluffed out right now. She's just so brutal. And she is probably bluffing me a little bit. Taking some easy wins. Uh, three jack. It's not the greatest hand to go in on. Ooh, it's a good flush draw. Oh, I got nothing. I got a high card. All right, so if I keep letting her do this, it's not going to be a good thing. So we're going to have to raise her. Excellent. So we were able to bluff her once. It kind of held the, just kind of held the chips even. Let's keep pushing. Ooh. I still need a nine to have anything at all. I don't think she has anything. Oh, that's fantastic. That's a game changer right there, guys. It's a game changer. 
Um, nope, I will not let you pull me in with an 8-4. She's obviously not impervious to bluffs. Wow, they really raised the blinds. That was actually a good fold on her half. Uh, probably would have gotten my or my heart at that point. All right, perfect. Never, never do that in a head-to-head. -head. Never, ever, ever fold your small blind. Unless, unless I mean, unless it's like you're just looking for the last push and you don't think that was good enough. Let's make it a tenner. I meant that to be ten. Whatever. She folded, it worked. All right, so we're at the double down, which means I've got her almost whittled down to the point where I'm gonna just start pushing her in. Almost, not quite. She's still dangerous. One double up and I'm not chip leader anymore. I could probably bluff this, but I'm concerned she's slow playing it. There's too many high cards on the table. I wish I was slow play playing, that would be fantastic. Here we go. Jack-10. I like Jack-10s. I don't like it when they have queens like that. She didn't either. <laughs> Made her last win pointless. Come on. Yes! I knew it. I knew she was... So she's getting desperate. She should double up here pretty soon. 10-7. Um, she might push me all in. Nope. Still playing it safe. 10 jack queen, I just need a king come down. See if she folds that. Well done. Well done, Alexis. It's ballsy. Six is still somewhat safe. Oh, she did it. She took it from me. Not good. I shouldn't have pushed so hard. I was being stupid. Let's see if she calls this. Dang it. Hopefully she doesn't have the ace. That would suck. <laughs> oh, I worked so hard to get into my position, too. Man. Do it. Do it. Do it. Push. Yes. Come on. Push, 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 push. Come on. Come on. Do it. Do it, Alexis. Here's a weak bet. Oh, dang it. I could have ended it right there. I should have checked. I should have checked. Wow. This luck be a lady, guys. Monica. I should tip her. Yeah, it's over. Bada bing. Old school. There we go, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you win. A million dollars. How did I know I was going to win a million dollars? Um, I didn't. Per se. It's just I've been winning about 80% of these because this particular level in Paris is pretty easy to win. <laughs> Sydney, I'm thinking, is going to be a little bit of a, bigger of a challenge. So I've been funneling my money around the players. But once I stop doing that, I will jump to Sydney. And we'll see how it goes. But yeah, there you go. In case you're wondering uh, how to make over a million dollars in WSOP, that's how to do it, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Um, hopefully, I'll see you in game. Come find me. See if I can knock you out just as hard. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And tune in next time to D.